Hi there, welcome to TMC. Today I'll be looking at this 2014 Ford Focus finished in white. I'll be doing a little walk around of the vehicle today showing you all the key features, details and cosmetics. And I'll be sure to point out anything over and above that of general wear and tear. First of all, we're starting out with the bonnet of the vehicle. As I scan across, you'll see it's looking really nice and tidy across the top there. No big dents or scratches at all. And we'll just move down to the front end of the vehicle. Those lovely clear headlights at the front. Got no big scratches or cracking at all. And just moving down the rest of that front bumper. Just there. Small mark just underneath the grille there. Got your front parking sensors. As you can see, a bit of a mark just on that bottom lip. But otherwise looking really nice and tidy across there. Those other lights looking good. Moving around that front passenger corner. Up and over that pillar just there. Looking nice and tidy. Front alloy looking good. Although we do have, as you can see, some cur uh, some curbing just on the edge there. I'll just point that out quickly with my ruler. So you can see just across there. Otherwise looking really good there. Moving down the passenger side of the vehicle. Side mirror. Got a few marks but no significant damage to the casing. Passenger door, no big scratches or car park dings at all. And the same with that rear door as well, looking really nice and tidy on the passenger side there. I'll just move to the inside of that passenger door. You can see a bit of a mark just on that handle there. Otherwise looking really nice and tidy. A few other small signs of uh, general wear, but nothing too significant. As you can see, part leather, part fabric seats in here. No big creases or tears at all. And I'll just move to the inside of that rear door. Show you the interior door card here. You can see a few signs of very light marks. Otherwise looking really, really good. Small amount of creasing on that seat, but nothing too significant at all. No big tears or anything like that. Move around to the rear of the vehicle now, starting off with that rear arch. No big dings or scratches. Same with that rear alloy just there. No big bits of damage on that at all. And we'll just move around to the rear of the vehicle. A bit of a scratch just on the top of that tail light just there, as you can see. But no big uh, cracks anywhere at all. And we'll just move around to the rear bumper. You can see those rear parking sensors just there as well. A few signs of general wear and tear, but not too significant to point out. As you can see, there are just some uh, touch-in marks just on either corner here. And I'll just open up the boot, show you the inside. Nice and tidy on the inside here. Tears at all. Parcel shelf there. And I'll just move around the driver's side of the vehicle. Driver's side tail lights looking good. That rear panel also looking tidy. And that rear arch looking good as well. A few marks just at the top of the arch there. And just moving to that rear alloy. Looking good as well. And we'll just move down the driver's side of the vehicle. As you see that rear door looking nice and tidy. That front door looking good as well. No big dings or scratches at all. That front arch there looking nice and tidy. Same with that front alloy just there. A few marks just to point out on the edges here. few age-related bits of wear to that badge on the inside. And yeah, just around the edge, a few marks. Moving just over that front driver's corner, you'll see looking nice and tidy all the way to the back. To side mirror just there, looking good. And I'll just show you the condition of the windscreen here on the Driver's side, we're looking nice and tidy, no big uh, cracks or chips at all. Now we'll just move to the passenger side across here. 
looking tidy across there as well. Now we'll just move to the inside of the vehicle, that rear door to start off with. Some small patches of wear, but nothing too significant. Rear seats here, no creasing or tearing. They look hardly sat in at all. Interior of that front door, looking really nice and tidy up across there. A few signs of general wear, but nothing too significant. Front driver's seat there, as you can see, a bit of creasing, but no tears along the edge. Looking really good otherwise. And we'll just move to the inside of the vehicle now. Start the engine, I'll show you a few features. As you can see, got your keyless start stop just here. As you can see, on just over 81,000 miles on this vehicle. You have your speed limiter and your cruise control just on your steering wheel there. Manual gearbox in this vehicle. You've also got your dual front heated seats just across here. AC controls on there as well. And here's your infotainment system. If I put this in reverse, you can see your reversing camera with your front and rear parking sensors comes up just there. Also got your infotainment system just here which does include your Bluetooth phone connectivity, just there. Got your DAB. And your AM. And your FM radios, uh, just there. You've also got your map and satellite navigation, uh, just there as well. This vehicle is available for viewing either through our online process or at our Hampshire based branch. If you have any further questions or inquiries on this vehicle, please do feel free to get in touch. And thank you very much for watching.